Middle Eastern salad, we need a bunch of parsley, green and red peppers, verdulaga, we also call this pir pirin. We need tomatoes, green onion, a small white onion, two cloves of garlic, lettuce, uh, mint, and pita bread. Uh, for the dressing, we need olive oil, lemon juice, a pomegranate molasses, black pepper, salt, and red pepper. Those are the dressings. So let's get started. We are going to wash, clean, and chop all of those. Then we'll meet again. I have chopped some green onions, mint, and verdulaga. Now I'm chopping the parsley. For this salad, you can use any vegetables and herbs that are seasonal. So it's up to your taste and whatever you have in your possession. This salad is a Lebanese traditional salad. And since my parents were born and raised in Lebanon, they have adopted a lot of Lebanese and Middle Eastern um, recipes. And we make those a lot. And this, uh, this recipe came from my mom and she learned it from her own mom. I'm chopping the herbs in a, a smaller sizes uh, very finely but the vegetables it has to be big enough to be picked with a fork so make the vegetables bigger like the uh, cucumber, uh, tomatoes, lettuce and peppers has to be cut big enough so you can pick it with your fork. We have cut the herbs and vegetables. Now we are going to cut the onions, garlic, and uh, the pita bread. I'm going to cut the pita bread and put it in the oven so it will get crisped up. And my mom is going to cut the onions and the garlic. So my mom um, is helping me and she's cutting the garlic. Um, to cut the pita bread, I'm cutting it in small pieces. I usually cut it in half and put the both halves together and cut it in triangles. So I cut it in this kind of triangle and then I try to cut it again to make it smaller. So the triangle becomes smaller triangles. cut it in any shape you want. Um, I prefer it to be a triangle. It's like a chips. It looks like a chips. Actually, you can cut as much as you want. Uh, you can also use it uh, with other dips. Uh, if you make hummus, if you make other dips, you can use it with other dips as a chips. I'm going to season it uh, with zakter. It gives a nice taste to the chips. You're done, Mom? Mm. Okay, my mom is done with the onions and the garlic. She just chopped it in small pieces. I'm done with the bread. 
What do you think, Mom? Is this enough? Yeah. Pavarare? Love it. Okay, I'm just fluffing it up. We are going to put some olive oil. Mom, you tell me how much, if it's enough it's or not. Okay, enough. Okay. The olive oil is going to help it to crisp up and it tastes so good. And this is up there. I buy it from Armenian uh, market or Middle Eastern markets. Um, and it's seasoned with uh, other things. It has a little bit of sesame seed in it. It's mixed with sesame seed. And it's an herb. Let me see what it's called. It says it's a Jordanian mix. Um, and I'm going to add about uh, one teaspoon. This should be enough. Okay. Is it enough? Okay. And we'll mix it. And I will just toss it with this. Should we add a little more olive oil? No, mm -hmm. I think we need we need to a little more. Oops. They usually um, fry it, fry the bread, but I prefer it to be baked in the oven. Actually, toast it in the oven. I'm going to put it in a preheated oven on a high temperature for about five minutes and then turn off the oven and then it will stay until it's crisp, uh, crisp, uh, crisp up. Okay, that's what we do. And I have put a lining on my cookie sheet and this goes on a cookie sheet and we'll put this in the oven. My mom is going to mix the uh, dressing. She's going to tell us what she's adding in the dressing. What is it, mom? Third. Okay. Uh, so we're adding one quarter cup of extra virgin olive oil. Okay, next. She's adding two tablespoons of lemon, lemon juice. She's also adding two. Uh, she's also adding one and a half tablespoon of pomegranate molasses. And uh, make up this turbo make the pomegranate molasses. Okay, this is the one. And we buy this in the Middle Eastern markets and also in Armenian markets. You can find it in Armenian and Middle Eastern markets. Mm -hmm. Okay, now she's going to add... Salt. She's going to add salt, pepper, it's to your taste and she's also adding the minced garlic to the dressing and salt and pepper it will be to your taste so as much as uh, you want it's a little bit too much more let's go easy on the salt so as much as you want and the red pepper going to mix it and we will add this on top of the salad. Now I'm going to assemble the salad. Let's put this here. Uh, we have chopped up everything. I'm going to tell you what I'm putting in the salad. This is the romaine lettuce. So we add the lettuce. I had only one, uh, one big lettuce. 
but you can put as much as you want. If you want to add other kinds of vegetables, you can do other kinds of vegetables because this salad is um, uh, is an Arabic salad, and from if we translate the name, it means it's crumble. So uh, they crumble the st uh, stale bread in this um, salad, and that's why it got the name uh, fatush. Fatush. Uh, I don't understand Arabic, but uh, in translation it means crumbles. So you can put uh, pieces of vegetable and uh, crumble bread on top of it. Now I'm adding green peppers, red peppers, radish. I also chopped up some uh, cucumber. This is three small sized cucumbers. use the Persian cucumber because it's, uh, it doesn't have seeds and also parsley we love parsley so we use a lot of parsley in our, in our salads and this is chopped up onions green onions meat So the uh, green that is called, I, I keep on forgetting the name, uh, that is called Pirpirim in Armenian. And the white onions goes into. And we also chopped small uh, two medium sized tomatoes and uh, you have to cut it in a size that it will be easy to be picked with a fork I'm making sure that the salad is uh, well uh, mixed so it will get um, all the dressing Put it with the dressing and we'll transfer it into a bigger platter and enjoy it. Hold our fatush is ready and our bread is well toasted. We just top it with the bread. we serve our fatush with the toasted bread. What do you think mom? Is it enough bread? Mm -hmm. I'm not going to put everything because it will get soggy and we will add it as we need it. And our fatush is ready. I would say Ramatek, let's have it and let's enjoy it together. That's about it. It's a delicious salad for summer. We have made Mediterranean summer salad, which is called Fatush. I hope you enjoyed watching us. I hope you'll take this recipe to your kitchen and you'll make it and you'll enjoy it as well. If you do, please let me know how you like it. Send me some notes and also pictures if it's possible. I would love to hear from you. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so. I do release new videos every week. And uh, if you like the video, please hit that like button. That would help me to bring you more delicious recipes. Now we are going to taste this and let you know how we like it. Mom, let's taste it. Mm. It's so refreshing. Have a 
you don't like it, Mom? Mama shot the cigarette machine there on your sofa. I didn't wish to push the neck me. Push my mind's position. Put out the tip. Put out the cigarette on by me. I'm always saying that this reminds her of her mom. She used to make it a lot and it brought back good memories for her from her childhood, from her mom. And me and my mom, thank you for uh, for being uh, here with us today. Have a wonderful day, wonderful week, and wonderful life. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.